guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I thought we would have a go at making a little um, pocket filey thingy my jig not quite sure what to call it yet what I have done I have made sort of like a prototype in um, copy paper so I'm going to try and make this out of my lovely papers which is the pretty vintage collection and i'm loving them and i've also backed them with some of the backing and also some of the coffee tea stain paper as well in the pack um in the backing paper pack so i'll pop links to those underneath anyway so i'm going to try and do this so it's really really nice so it just opens up you probably can't see it too well because obviously it's white um so I've got a little, um, I'm holding it together with a piece of paper that goes around the back. Um, and the, so these two pages are sort of separate and they sort of like mirror each other. So it opens up like that. We've got lots and lots of lovely little pockets in. So I'm going to try and do it if I can. Um, so let's see. So I've got some papers ready and they have all been... Um, printed on the back so I'm going to use for the cover let's move these out of the way I'm going to use one of the backing papers um, and I pop some coffee tea stain paper on the back um, printed on the back so what I did before I believe I got to remember how I did it now I just folded it in half I'm not going to have it it's not going to be all um, sort of cut all nice and neatly because I don't really do that we shall be ripping and tearing and making so it just looks really really nice so let us do that so this is going to be the back and the front and what I did I believe I just folded one of these over so which bit do I want in the front so I've just sort of folded the piece over like that down so shall we measure it so give you a rough idea so then that's going to be five and three quarters so I've just sort of like gone in sort of almost like five uh, two and a half centimeters there which is roughly just under six centimeters two and a half inches or roughly six centimeters I've gone in so we shall do the same on this one I don't think it really matters which which one as long as we have them the same size like that let's just eyeball it that looks about right so these are going to go like that and then I'm going to glue these down first so they are a little pockets so I will pop a little bit of glue on here make sure I'm in view I haven't gone in too close because um, I want you to see what I'm doing and then I'm trying not to go out of shot there. So let's just do those as the little pockets. Like this. As you know, I try not to sort of measure things because I like to sort of like use up all the paper if we can. Um, by ripping it in half and quarters like that you tend to sort of like use up the papers and you don't have too much left over okay so what should we have for the front I quite like that one for the front so it's going to go like that isn't it so that's going to be the front and the back no it's not that's going to be it's going to be like that isn't it because that's going to be the front so these go together like that and what I've got, I've got my little postcardy ones here. Um, so I'm going to see, because I want to use this. It's almost like the spine to hold them down. That one's quite pretty, isn't it? That's quite nice for the front. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold this in half, sort of roughly. Not, not squash it too much. And then that will sit on there as the spine. And then if I just glue this bit in this bit, it can tuck in there. Because on this one, I had a longer piece. 
I'm not quite sure whether you can see it. Let me just get my pen to show you. I had it this big, like that. Um, but obviously my postcards aren't that big. And I had a pocket in the top here. But I think what I will do, if I do it like that, I will just glue this bit and have the sort of pocket little tuck in there if need be. So that's what I shall do on this one. Let's take the bottom out. I'm going to do this first. So I'm going to glue down here. Oops. I've just refilled this glue bottle. So let's just hope it's going to not be too runny little bit down here so all of this one is it's just going to be gluing folding and gluing so it's going to be quite a simple one and then I'm going to pop that in there sort of eyeball it so it's in the middle stick that down like that okay now again if you like to sew on the sewing machine you can um, sew around this before and then stick it on but I'm not going to sew today I'm just going to be making so let's just stick this one in here I'm going to pop a little bit of glue I don't want to too much glue on there because you'll probably see a little bit of this in between go along here so we can have a pocket in the front and the back. So let's line that up on there. And put this and squash that down like that. Love this dragonfly. I think these papers are so, so pretty. Okay. So that is our little folio and that will just look. I printed this on to 160 GSM paper. So that's on there, it's not quite level there. I'm gonna have to put my lid on here because it's very hot in here and it dries up so quickly. Okay, so that's the start and I'm loving that. So let's see, what was the next step I did? So we've got the little pockets here and I think I just made the bigger outer ones. So I'm going to get another piece. I'm going to get this one here and I want to make the outer pockets. So let's just see, let me just double check again. So I think what I did, I folded this one this way. So fold it long ways, like that. So you fold it sort of landscape, isn't it, really? Do cut it if you want to cut it with your, your paper trimmer. But this way, it means that I don't have to do any measuring to find the middle because it's easier for me like this. Okay, and I'm going to, and I don't think I need all of this, so I'm going to, let me just see, see I have to keep referring back, I'm glad I made one beforehand, I'm going to put this on here, so that's that bit, fold that down, so I'm going to just score on here, just so I get this right, just gonna do my scoreboard isn't very good, so I think I will probably do one, two, three, four little, four little notches in there, like that, and fold that one over. And I'm going to have to do this one this way, aren't I? So let's like that. So we've got four little notches. Pop 
that to the side back again I hope I'm not confusing you so that will stick on the edge there and this will come up and this just comes over so I need to trim that off say about here let me just get my shouldn't really use a pen I should probably use a pencil shouldn't I so let's just eyeball that so let's just cut it there get my trimmer chop this off so that's going to be on 14 centimeters let's bend this over and do the same for this one And then these two spare pieces we will use in a minute. So that's going to stick at the top. And then this one will stick at the bottom. So that's quite simple. Let's just edge it a little bit. With a little bit of ink. I will um, add some embellishments as well. Once we've made it all, you can just stick on some little bits of bits and pieces. So I will find some bits to put on it. So that's okay. So I had a lovely weekend. Now I'm feeling so much better. Um, we had a lovely barbecue well we had two actually and lunch and dinner in the garden it was absolutely amazing so and we also managed to get on Friday night as well for our date night which is lovely and we have some friends over as well so we managed to squeeze in and have a quick hello to them as well before we had to rush back for mum so that was really nice nice to get out and about and because it's obviously we are um, peak season here it is very very busy so it's lovely to see all the sort of hustle and bustle going on around um, nice and summery and people eating and it's lovely to be back to um, being busy outside so there we go that's that one like that so that just folds in I like that and we shall do the same on this one. Did I ink this one? I think I did, didn't I? Let's put this on here. If you don't have any sort of like papers, if you're not into doing your um, digital papers, you can make this out of anything. You can make this out of book papers and all sorts of things. Recycle all your bits and pieces. So this is one you can just soak that. I like that. And then these just fold up. Love it. So now the next bit we are going to do, we're going to do another little pockets here. And I think this is what I used for these. So I'm going to just use, let's see, how did I do this? I think I just folded this little bit in like that we want the same bit so we want to no not that one we want our little scoreboard so we need to score this again with one two three four I think you can hope you can see that one two three four just go down and then it will be this one just go down like that Perfect. So this is going to sit on there like that. And this one, let's I didn't score that very well, did I? That one can go down like that. So then that sits on there like that. And then 
that comes over. Okay, and also I made a little pocket here, so I'm just going to fold that in like that. Just fold it in. What did I fold that in? Three and a half, just under four centimeters or one and a half inches. Again, I will do the same on this one. Let's just eyeball it. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just fold it in like that. And I'm going to just ink this up. Like this. See how we're doing for time. Oh, we're good. We're good for time. For some reason my camera will only video for half an hour and then it will click off and then I have to turn it back on again. Okay, so that one goes on. Oh, let's just glue it. Let's glue it first. Glue these down so they are little pockets. So it's just, oops. Along there and along there. Squash those down. So what have I used? I've used two pieces of paper so far. That's all. So that's not bad, is it? But again, you can use it your little odd bits of paper if you wanted to you don't have to have it matching you could have like a little eclectic one which would be quite nice so we are going to put this one on here aren't we and then make sure oh gosh am I glued to the table and this one on this side so I'll put a little bit of glue on here so these are just like little hinges, aren't they? So that's going to sit on there like that, up to the edge. So make sure that that folds over nicely as well. So that folds over and then that folds over. And then these will be in the, the nice straight line. Gosh, glue on my table. glue on here and we shall stick this one on there there we go love it so these are sort of like they just flap out like that and that flaps out so I think that looks really good and then it just oops folds together like that and then we've got the little pocket in there so I think that looks really really nice okay so that's our two flaps like that and then what I did I popped two little pockets in there so this opens up and this opens up now I think I will probably use one of the little postcards I don't think this postcards quite fit in there, do they? So what shall we use? Let's use this pretty one, shall we? Now I'm going to just fold this in half. Like this. That should work. this down and what I did I folded that up but then we're not going to see much of that so what I will do I'm going to tear it off and stick it on because on the on the one that I did for the white one for the copy paper I just folded these up but obviously I don't want to cover up all the pretty paper so I'm going to just Fold that up like that. Make sure these two are the same. 
like that. Tear that off and then stick this on top like that. So then we've got the little pocket. Perfect. Like that. So I can actually cut that off. I did on the other one, I just folded it and put it under the pocket. But I think I might actually just cut it off because this is quite thick. It's a lot thicker than um, the copy paper. So let's just ink around here and around the top. Like this. And this pretty little one. I love these papers. So pretty. Okay. Where's my glue? Right, I'm going to. Oh, it's a big buzzy bee. Oh, that went in my ear. My door's open. I think I'm going to have to measure this first and cut it before I glue it down. Should have done that before, shouldn't I? So, if you're going to make this, you can see my mistakes, can't you? Let's just do this one. Which bit should I cut off? I think I might cut off some of the green, actually. So let's do it this way. Cut there. And cut there. Let me just get my little cutter here. Cut down there. There we go. And then this one. Down there. And down there. Keep these little bits because these are good for collage. These are your little extras that you can for your collage work. So now I can actually ink all the way round, can't I? Like that. I shall pop the ink, the ink will glue around this bit along the bottom. Stick this on here like that. And then I'm just going to stick that on there. So we've got a little pocket on there, which I think will look nice. Again, you can add whatever pockets you like. This is just sort of like a um, to show you what I'm doing, and then you can just add pockets and all sorts of things wherever you like. But I'm quite liking the way this sort of like little spine is in there. So we've got the little pocket there, and we've got two diddy little pockets on here. So let's put this in there. Put that one there. Now we can either have them together or I might actually just have that one up. There's enough, but I need enough room here. Let's bring it down a bit just so I can put something in the top as well. So say about there I think, there we go, perfect, right what have I got that I can pop in there, I don't know yet, now I love this, so easy peasy, so these just fold in and these fold in and that folds over, oopsie daisy, 
like that so I love it so shall we have a couple of pockets now I'm going to pop a pocket on here now I have got the little pockets from the kit as well on here so I'm just wondering whether these will fit that will fit on there lovely won't it that still opens up okay and then I've got the little one but that's got a see that didn't fit on there but I suppose I could even pop that on the front of there couldn't I could you see that yes okay so I think I've got four pockets let's have a look I've got my little bits that I've cut up here so we have four pockets so we shall have this one on this side I think just there lots of pockets I do like pockets pockets and tucks and things where you can sort of hide little bits and pieces everywhere so let's just pop some glue on there stick that in the middle again you could probably pop a little bit of ribbon underneath before you stick it down like that lovely and that opens up and then let's go this way oops that looks like it's coming up shall i just pop a little bit of glue in there squeeze it out let me get some tissue to rub that off a big mess there we go and then i'm going to put this pocket on there so that looks nice doesn't it And then we've got to try and figure out some sort of closure so that can go on here that can go on there like that not very straight but that will be okay love it now shall I pop these little ones on the front that looks nice on there doesn't it yes I think I will pop that on there like that this can just stick on there Oh, I do like these this is lovely that folds up and then we want to pop this one onto here like that perfect stick that on there we go lovely oh I do like this and then that just folds up look at that doesn't that look nice then we've got lovely pockets in the front bit bendy wendy there though isn't it but that's okay look at that I love it now we need to find some sort of closure as well don't we so what can we do I think I might just pop a little bit of ink needs a bit of sort of something around it like this just to darken the edges up like that so I think we did in the end just use two pieces of paper and then we've got a couple of the postcard ones in there so out of that kit you could make quite a few of these little folios okay oops the 
there we go fabulous okay what shall we do for the closure what shall we do we could have just a little tie one couldn't we with a little thingy around there and we could put one on either side I just want to get it in the way of that but these are looking really nice we need a little round I need some card and then I could cut out I think that's a bit too small I think we'd have to have this one cut out a little circle right I'm going to be two minutes I'm just going to go and get some card a minute okay so I have changed my mind I'm not going to use a little circle punch I have got a piece of card like that I'm going to do like a little hidden paper clip I think so let me just get a paper clip I think we'll have a bigger one so this is sort of like a thickish sort of card but it's a bit sort of like sun damaged there um, where it's been by the window so I think I'm just going to use this um, because I won't be using it for anything else so it shows just how strong the sunshine is isn't it so shall we have a paper clip which way shall I do it Shall I put it on so it's like that? I don't want it too big because I want to put something in the pocket. So if we have it like that, I think. Let's just tidy that up a little bit so that can go on. I think that's not going to be too thick. We shall see won't we so I'm going to put that on there like that and hopefully that should be okay okay it's only just let's do it again because that's not going to be I can cut that down pop this on the bigger one that side that's better down like that perfect and then I need what shall we have on the front where are my other little postcards gone all hidden away somewhere there we go I think I'd like this one something like that on there that would look nice wouldn't it so we need about there oh it's a bit big let's just bend this over I want this bit to be seen oh, let's see I don't know whether that will God, I reckon I'm making a big mess of this one aren't I that's going to stick in there like that and then I can just trim it up perfect I'm going to use where's my fabric tack gone what did I do with that here it is I'm going to use my fabric tack Come on, out you come. There we are. Right on the edge there. Pop that in. Like that. Squash it down. Let's open this up. Gosh, I'm making a right mess of this one. Let's make sure we are stuck down. There we go. 
then I'm going to just pop the glue on top here make sure it's all glued in stick that down nicely and I'm going to just trim this up like that I think we're okay along the bottom but maybe just a little bit like that so this can fit on there like that lovely I'm going to round the corners that's my little corner punch if it will fit just a bit of ink what did I do with my little dobber where's that gone let's just ink around here and here Maybe I will stick something. Shall I stick something on the front of this as well? Got some little embellishments here from the kit. So what could we use? Well, I could actually pop the little dragonfly on there. It would look nice, wouldn't it? Let's see if it works first. Probably help. Open that up. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Love it. And then our little dragonfly can go on there. So let's get a little bit of cheesecloth in my little box here somewhere. There we go. Let's have a little bit of this. Chop a little bit off. Let's scruffle it up a little bit. Put that on. Put this on. Lovely little dragonfly. Oopsie daisy. There we are. That looks nice, doesn't it? So that can go on there. So that's good. So let's pop some little bits in the pockets. Now I have my little journaling cards that come up with it. So we'll have this. Oh, I've got my little tickets as well. I've made a big mess here. So I've got all sorts of things everywhere. Let's move these out of the way. So I should have two I should have four of these so I don't know what I have done with those but never mind should I have four of those yes I'm sure I've got four of those somewhere oh well here somewhere I'm sure so I'm going to put that in there oh that fits um, what should we have? I've got one of these. Those I'd like to go in the front pocket, I think. Oh, look, you fit in there with the little birdie. Let's close this up. Shall I put one of these in there? Oh, it's a little bit of a tight fit. There we go, that's better. I think I put a little bit too much glue. And on the back, we can pop this one in there. Like that. Now, I do have the two here somewhere. I've got two more that I cut out. Which I have lost. They can't have gone very far, I'm sure. Never mind. I've put them somewhere. Oh, here they are. I knew I had them somewhere so these can go that one can go in there which looks nice doesn't it 
and then this one could go in this one and they all work together so I think that looks lovely what can I put in here oh I could fold our little our lovely little tickets out couldn't I we could have a little one in there like that and these ones can just pop in there like that I do like this should I put anything on here little bird will it just about fit mm, not quite oh let's have these oh that's pretty let's pop you on there let's just stick I can stick you down with a little bit of this pop that onto here like that we will have this one on here so then you can put whatever in there and these now my postcards don't quite fit so I might just cut that down a little bit and I've got another one here so I'm just going to take a little bit off the top and then it will should fit in nicely like that perfect 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 keep that for my little collage on the little blue birds over that way and there we go fits in perfect so there we go guys that's our little so how many pockets have we got we've got two four six eight ten we've got 12 pockets on here so that's pretty good going isn't it so it's a little 12 pocket folio in the end pop our little paper clip on it like that that fits in there it's probably not the best closure um, but look at that does look nice doesn't it doesn't that look lovely so there we go a nice little 12 pocket folio I think it looks really really nice and we only use two pieces of the paper um, and a couple of postcards and with the embellishments on there so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me I'll pop a link to the um, papers that I use underneath the video um, have a fantastic rest of the day and I will see you all soon all right guys bye bye